morning, good morning. Look at this crazy hair. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like this song. I don't know if I like this song. We watch our worship on the screen. I don't like this song. We got a rock star. Well, good morning. And I know it's kind of hard to follow when I'm gonna be on because uh, it's so sporadic because my schedule is sporadic. So just deal with it. And when you see me pop on, just hop on too, and then we can do the Bible study, okay? But it looks like your heart set free from Okay. Gotta start right here. Gotta start right now. Oh, hello, Holy Spirit. Good morning. I love when he does this. Interferes, says good morning. I absolutely love that, love that. Makes me look way better. So, all right. I don't have a lot of time, so we're just going to get into it, okay? Alexa, stop. Okay, so let's pray, because like I said, this isn't about me and my hairdos. It's about praise and worshiping the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for another opportunity to get it right. Father God, I ask you to be with those who are listening now and later. They may know you more, that they may hear your words and follow your commands. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen, amen. God morning, everyone. God morning. So, let's see. I have my winning with Jesus mug that I absolutely, absolutely love. So definitely censoring, definitely being censored by good old Zuckerberg. Little scar on my chin. <laughs> Messing with wrong people, leaving marks. Leaving marks. Leaving their mark. Okay, kids. So let's see what we're going to talk about today. Now, if you're new to the show, we do flip open Bible, which means I just flip open the Bible and see what the Lord wants to talk about. And hopefully he's not too angry and telling us how we're all going to perish. So, fingers crossed today, guys! <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Let's start. Salt and light, because this is Matthew 5.13. Matthew 5, 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it become, how can it be made salty again? It, no, it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its lampstand. And it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Okay, now we're always talking about this, right? Holy Spirit, you're hilarious. Holy Ghost is in the house. We're always talking about your good deeds. Now, understand that our deeds do not yield, do not equal salvation, okay? But... Jesus equals salvation, period. Our deeds are because we're supposed to be good people. We're supposed to be reflections of God. We are supposed to be walking like models of Christ. So if you are doing good deeds out in the world, then people are going to be like, oh, wow, what a great Christian. What a great person. Let me be more like them. But on the flip side, people love to say, oh, and you're supposed to be a Christian? They love saying that when you fall, you fall on your face, you lose your temper, you curse, you fall into sin. You know, people love to say, oh, you're supposed to be a Christian. Or you call yourself a Christian? Well, to those people, they don't know what it means to be a Christian, okay? Because being a Christian is the hardest thing anybody has ever had to do. Why? It's because the devil and his little minions come after you, okay? Be giving your life to Christ 
And trying to walk the Christian walk is super difficult, okay? And that's why we need to lean on Jesus, lean on the Holy Spirit, lean on God the Father for wisdom, power, and knowledge to say no to our temptations, okay? Jesus is the one that we are trying to emulate. The Holy Spirit is the one to give us the power to say, no, 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 don't do it. He's the one that convict us to say, you know, are you really sure you want to do that? And God the Father is the one with the rules, okay? He's the one saying, you know, don't commit adultery, don't murder, don't kill, don't steal, don't lie, don't slander. He's the one giving us the rules, okay? Jesus is the one that follows the rules 100%. So if Jesus can do it, with the power of the Holy Spirit, and the love of the Father. That's the thing. We learned yesterday, or two days ago, that if we love God, we're supposed to do what pleases Him. We are supposed to be pleasing God, not men, not our husbands, not our boyfriends, not some crush, not our bosses, not our uh, human fathers, not our fiancés, not anyone except for God Almighty. Okay? Almighty. Because he's the one we got to worry about because he's the one that has our eternal life in his hands. Okay, so today, you guys, I want you to write in your notebooks, who have you been living for? And be honest with yourself because it's just you and the paper and God, okay? And honestly, I can honestly say I have been living for myself and I have been living for my male friends and I have been living for money, you know what I mean? And I have not been living to please God the way that I should be, okay? I try to please God all, as much as I possibly can, but I too fail because I am human and I have not mastered the power of the Holy Spirit yet, nor do I call upon it when I'm in a situation. So I'm kind of just hurting myself not using the tools that I have available with just the Bible, the Holy Spirit, and our and the Holy Trinity. So if you are in a situation and you find yourself struggling with sin, just remember that God will never put you in a situation that you do not have an escape from. Whether it, you're in somebody's bed, you can just get up and walk out. You have to be the one to choose. And, you know, if you've been doing the same old sin, living the same old dull routine, God knows. And I, I don't want to sound like but he's going to get tired of, of you doing the same sin again and again and again and acting like you're sorry because you're not sorry. Just like if your husband or your wife was cheating on you and they came back one time and they're like, oh, I cheated on you. I'm so sorry. And then you forgive them and then they continue to do it. That means that they don't love you. Okay. It has nothing to do with anything else. If your spouse is cheating on you again and again or even one time, they do not love you. Okay. That's. You could just chalk that up to like a loss on that one. Okay, so same thing. If you were doing, if you were sinning again and again and coming back repenting from the same old sin again and again, you really don't love God. Okay, God is not in your heart. You are allowing the devil to control your life. And you, the devil is your father. And, and God even says it, that you are filled with, that you work for your father, this Satan, if you are still sinning again and again. So if you're in a place that you just can't break free from your sin, you might want to look at your relationship with God the Father, Jesus himself, and the Holy Spirit. And if you need to, maybe spend some more time in prayer and in the Bible. Okay? I got to get to work. That's my two cents for the day. I hope you um, enjoy my little show. I'll try and get a little bit better. My face feels weird. Like there's fur on it or something. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or you need any prayer requests, please put it in the comment section. If not, please share my videos, like my videos, and be blessed and be a blessing. Have a wonderful day. Bye.